Hey hey, salut les gamers, c'est Lady de la Zombie Factory, j'espère que vous allez bien. Je vous propose une petite vidéo sur du GTA V, et oui encore, je suis désolée, je sais que ça vous saoule et que vous en avez marre de voir autre chose que du zombie sur cette chaîne, mais j'y peux rien, je me sentais obligée de le faire partager. Tout ce que je découvre sur GTA V, c'est tellement un plaisir que, que voilà, il faut que je le fasse tourner. Donc voilà, les trois fins alternatives du jeu, pour tous ceux qui ne veulent pas être spoilés, c'est le moment ou jamais de quitter cette vidéo. Et pour tous les autres, je vous laisse découvrir comment ce serait terminé votre GTA à 5 si vous aviez choisi les autres propositions de Dom. Prenez soin de vous, à très bientôt. Bye bye Hey man, how you doing? Shit, I'm good, T. And yourself? Oh, peachy! I know what this is about. You do? Of course! It's Michael! You're the peacemaker! Well, I ain't having it, all right? I ain't having it. I mean, maybe when the heat dies down. But this, nah, I ain't having it. I mean, that's it, right? Huh? Wasn't it? Wasn't it? But Michael ain't the problem. T, I like you. You scare the shit out of me sometimes. You creep me the fuck out. But, but the way I see it, the way anyone normal will see it, not that any of this shit is normal, man, you gonna get us all fucking killed. You gonna whack me? Huh? Me? I ain't been nothing but straight and true with you. I'm sorry, man. Yeah, you have been true with me. But the truth ain't what I'm interested in. You fucking kill us! Yo, where are you, man? I'm chasing T through the oil field. Shit. Okay. I'm not far away. Try and stop him. you grow the fuck up. I mean, I admit, I'm a bad piece of work, but that guy, that piece of shit, no boundaries, no sense of when to back off, no nothing. 24-7 insanity, day in, day out, all the time. Never regretted nothing, never cared for nothing. Well, fuck him. I mean, there's gotta be a limit, kid. You know, a point where even assholes like us say, enough is he fucking enough. Human stew. That's my limit. I know that now. I guess that's that, then. It is what it is. Hey! 
It's certainly been an education. Surviving is winning, Franklin. Everything else is bullshit. Fairy tales spun by people afraid to look life in the eye. Whatever it takes, kid. Survive. Straight. Don't come close. I don't want you to, to see nothing. Oh, it's a setup, it's a setup. Hey, man. Hey, what's up? You seem kind of agitated. Man, shit ain't good right now. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, shit. Hold on. Hey, baby, what's up? Really? Tracy. College? Our Tracy. R real college? You gotta be kidding me. That's great. All right, well, hey, listen, let me talk to you a little later, all right? Yeah, I just got to wrap up some business here. All right. Bye. Ah, uh, Amanda. Says she wants me to bring you around the house sometime for dinner. One of these nights, huh? Fuck. I mean, I don't know what I did to deserve this motherfucking luck. I got my kids back, my wife, and a job that I love. I mean, I made it. We made it. You and me, bro. What? I like you, dog, and you know this. I risked everything for your ass, dog. What is this? Look, man. Me and you know this shit ain't over, dog. We both realists. The fuck is this? You. You? You came here to fucking clip me? You? Fuck! you everything you know not everything i was here long before you and i'll be here after your ass well, we'll see about that you fuck i'll take you every time <laughs> every fucking time yeah fucking ain't right I was your bitch! I could have been standing down the barrel of your gun any fucking day, you motherfucker! You just keep telling yourself that! It ain't gonna make you feel any better. Past performance, homie. People don't fucking change. You did! You! Two-bit gangster going three-bit. And now you're gonna... Gap! The only one who was ever decent to you! Ha! No, I trusted you. I took you in. Treated you like family. My, let's just fuck you. Hey, you told me when the time came. I know, I'm sorry. No, hypocrite. I should have clipped you when you broke into my house. When 
up, what up? This your boy LD. Leave one. Hey, Lamar. It's me, homie. Look, I was just calling to see how you was doing, dog. Or maybe we can hang out or something. Man, I know I've been kind of caught up in shit, man, but shit been real crazy, homie. But it's dealt with now. Fuck, man, you know how it is, homie. You just start running and shit, then all of a sudden your legs give and you just can't run no more. Anyway, man, man, just hit me, dog. We brothers, homie, all right? Peace. Imagine a fucking scenario that will fuck things up the worst. Boy, my mind is just racing. But you know, I don't want to say something that's really exciting and then you have to act all deflated and say, no, no, it's just that somebody got the same tattoo I got. So why don't you just go ahead and tell me? Some motherfucker wants me to kill Michael. Some other motherfucker wants me to kill Trevor. I feel I can't kill both of them. Man, I'm fucked, man. I don't know what the fuck to do right now. Damn. Well, I can see that. Well, who are the motherfuckers? <sighs> Steve Haynes, uh, this angry motherfucker from the FIB. Yeah. Um, Devin Weston, man, you know the, um... Oh, that angry, that, um, rich fucker from whatever holy hibernates in. Exactly. All right, all right, I say... Kill Michael, then kill Trevor. Oh. Man, are you for real? You're fucked, you know, I, I, I don't know. You know everything, dawg. I know, okay, but I, I, I'm sorry, I guess this is it. You know, I'm doing my best, man. I don't know how you can deal with both of them. I know, man. Shit. We're fucked. Every single one of us is fucked. Unless... Okay. Steve Haynes is under a lot of heat because of the shootings at Court Center. And Devin Weston is A, known to be a major asshole, and B, known to be friendly with Don Percival, who runs Merriweather. I think, actually, Weston owns piece of Merriweather. Right, 11%. Pretty good for a pseudo-liberal owning a private army. So, they would both love to be involved in capturing the bullion that we just lifted. If I tell them both that you boys are at the foundry in Marietta Heights melting it down, then maybe, maybe both of them will pay you a visit and bam, we turn it into a, a bust. I ain't got no better ideas. All right, I'm gonna get in touch with Michael and Trevor. You go to the foundry, get yourself set up. I got you. All right. That gun? It makes me think this is a... Hey, man, what the fuck am I doing risking my ass trying to save y'all ass if you just gonna kill each other? Hey, you're not saving me, you're saving him. Now you're saving this fat fuck. Man, y'all gotta keep y'all fucking heads right and end this shit. If not, man, I'll put bullets in both of you motherfuckers. Hey, they here? I know them when I see them, homie. They creep. All right, good. Y'all hear that? Now, if we doing this shit, man, it's either now or never. Come on, Trevor. Fuck it! Over there. All right, where you want me? You hold your position right there. Okay. I'm gonna go over there. Near the building. Watch your sector. Gee, oh, you gotta wait. Shit, for now? Exactly, for now. So, 
What's next? Huh? Are we just gonna wait around till someone else comes to kill us? Or are we gonna wait till this fucker gets turned again? Oh, fight me. Ain't anybody getting turned again, and you know it. Hey, man, the way I see it, we only just begun to clean this shit up. We got a lot of old friends I think need to be re-educated. A lot of friends. I mean, things could get really messy. No, we just gotta silence a few noisy people. <laughs> Hell yeah, well, let me see. There's, uh... Steve Haynes. Dave Norton. No, we need him alive. Why? So nobody fucks with us afterwards. What about that triad motherfucker? The one that think you two boys is dating? Shit, you know he bound to come back. Yep, there's that. Well, who's the, uh, the guy who set up Lamar? Hmm? Stretch, you wanna throw him in? Shit, Trevor will throw anyone in just to satisfy his bloodlust. Whoa! Hey! It's called a fucking loose end, all right? Now, if we're gonna be men of peace and tranquility, we tie up loose ends. <sighs> Man, Stretch has been a liability. But then we're gonna have to take care of our old pals Devin Weston and Steve Haynes. Oh, fuck, what a mess, man. Well, let's get it cleaned up. How about you get Lester on the line? Who is this? Uh, stop calling this number. Hey, it's me, dawg. <laughs> You're alive. I thought someone might have your phone. No, nah, no, nah, but look, I got you on speakerphone. Oh, did Mike make it? Yeah, I'm here. And the other one? <clears throat> See you putting the ground wheels. Uh-huh. You, um, just... Calling for a chat? No, we got some work to do. Can you get us some whereabouts? Oh, I'll do my best. Who? Steve Haynes to start. And Devin Weston's ass. And uh, Wei Ching. W E I C H E N G. Wei Chang. Wei Chang. And Franklin's pal, Stretch. Huh. Stretch? Yeah, man. Look, his real name is Harold Joseph. Okay, well, I can tell you that Agent Haynes is taping a show over on Del Perro Pier. Shooting permit came up immediately. Shut that! Oh, I wanted to ice that fucker since the moment I met him! All right, all right. Ah, I got a signal from Mr. Harold Joseph's phone over at the B.J. Smith Recreation Center. No, I got him. I got him. Let's keep him clear of uh, known associates. All right, thanks, dawg. You got it. What you got for me? Tao Ching's credit card just bought a Magnum at the Beach Club in Pacific Bluffs. Okay, I'll go ask his ass about his punk-ass dad. When I find Mr. Weston, I'll send the coordinates. All right, good. Hey, the old man's here. He's leaving the beast club. I'm gonna do it now. Don't Hey, unless you got news from the Foundry team, I don't want to be disturbed. The fuck? Wait, wait, hear me out! Ugh. No more talking! Slick with a few minutes for some one on one time.
Hey, we good, T? Never better, amigo. Franklin? I'll be here. Franklin. All right, what's up? I assume you got him? Ooh, safe and sound. Ain't that right, buddy? <laughs> hey, my bad, homie. I pick C. Ain't that a bitch? You know, Devin, the way I see it, and hey, I'm no intelligent businessman like you, but the way I see it, there's two great evils that bedevil American capitalism of the type that you practice. Number one is outsourcing. You paid a private company to do your dirty work for you, and then you underpaid that company because you thought you were big enough and bad enough that you didn't have to play by the rules. Oh, number two. Offshoring your profits. Offshoring? Oh, it's horrible. You wouldn't want to be sent offshore just to save a little money, would you, T? No. Franklin? I wouldn't. Oh, no, I would ain't going want? nowhere. No, see, but we know your opinions on the matter, Devin. Keep your problems the fuck out of America, huh? <laughs> In this instance, when he puts it like that, it makes sense. Of course it does. Hey, Devin, goodbye, my old friend. Thanks for all the advice. Bye-bye. So now what? Now we keep a low profile and get on with our lives. As friends. Well, do I have a choice? No, not really. All right, then. As, uh, flawed, awful, totally uncomfortable, and poorly matched friends. Absolutely. Oh, that's perfect. Then we can get back to the kind of capitalism we practice. Shit, I don't know how much more better that is than Devin's con. Ooh, hypocrisy, Franklin. Civilization's greatest virtue. Jesus, your therapist has a lot to answer for. I know, I still hate myself. But hey, at least I know the words for it now. Yeah, but I hate you, and I know the words for it. So does that mean I don't have to go to therapy? Look, man, you two motherfuckers terrify me of that middle age. I'm good. You're right to be afraid, Franklin. Yeah. Be very afraid, Franklin. Say one thing, T. I'm getting too old for this nonsense.